This is the ultimate real estate investor's beginner's guide. In this video, I'm gonna share with you all the things you need to know to get your business off the ground. More importantly, these are all the things that gurus across the United States want to charge you thousands of dollars for you to know. So let's get right into it before they catch me. So there's three major components to every single real estate investing business. This goes across the board. You have to have these three things if you want to have a real viable business. The first thing is lead generation. Lead generation is where most people get stuck, okay? If you're not generating leads, this is your lifeblood of your business. You, nothing else matters if you don't have people to talk to. You have to be talking to people who wanna sell their house every single day. Otherwise, you have nothing. The next phase, after you've started generating leads and you've gotten really good at it, the next piece of the puzzle is acquisition. I'm just gonna ACQ. Acquisition is just another word for getting properties under contract. If you can't get properties under contract, you are gonna fail period. You can be really good at generating leads, but if you can't get them under contract, you make no money. So it doesn't make any sense. You have to get good at getting people to sell their home to you, whether that be on great terms at, or at a great price. <clears throat> the last and final piece to this whole entire thing is disposition. Okay. So disposition is basically another word for selling the deal. Not only do you have to be able to get the lead through the door and be able to get them under contract, but you also have to be able to sell the deal because you don't make this money down here if you're not able to sell the deal. So each one of these things require different skill sets. So the skill that you need up here to generate leads is gonna be different than the skill you need to be able to sell them, right? And it's also very different than the, the skill you need to be able to acquire the lead. So a lot of the times, the reason why most investors never get their business off the ground is because they get good at one of these things or maybe none of these things, so nothing ever happens. There is no system that's gonna automatically get you deals. The folks that get really good at lead gen, typically your systems folks have a really tough time acquiring and selling deals. And then vice versa. A lot of people who are really good at talking to people have a tough time with the systems that are required to generate leads. And so I want to share with you guys a strategy that I use that combines two major methods, which is something called reverse wholesaling and partnering up through strategic partnerships. So let's look at that. So the first thing that you want to do, I want you to think about the funnel we just drew out and let's tip it over to its side. All right. So we have lead generation, we have acquisition, and we have disposition. Reverse Reverse wholesaling is just simply thinking about this person first, the buyer. What are they looking for? Typically, your buyer is going to have something called a buy box, something that they're looking for. They know the exact kind of properties that they will buy and they'll pay top dollar for. This could be for cash, okay? And this could be for creative, like seller finance and sub two, right? They will have a buy box. So if we put them first and we know exactly what they're looking for, it makes this step a lot easier on the acquisition. We know exactly where we need to be. And it makes this step a heck of a lot easier because we know exactly the kind of properties we need to go find. So the biggest problem folks have with trying to reverse engineer this process is you feel like you need to be a master here on finding these buyers. You feel like you need to be a master here on being able to acquire these deals. You need to be a master at generating leads all at the same time, which leads people to having something we call the shiny object syndrome. So you try all these different things at once. You think you need to build your buyers list. You need to attend all these trainings. You do 15 different ways of trying to find a deal and then you get nowhere fast. So the biggest problems most folks have getting started, especially when you reverse engineer this process, you feel like you need all these buyers buyers. You don't need a hundred buyers. You do not. You can actually start with anywhere from one to five buyers. As in these people are people that can connect you to the actual end buyer. So anytime that I go into a market, I find a strategic partner that has access to thousands of cash buyers who are the end buyers. We also go into markets where I have one person that can connect me with hundreds and hundreds of creative buyers, right? I know exactly what they're looking for because these people are the experts in those markets and they can tell me, Matt, these are the deals that are moving. So if you find these types of deals, I know I can sell them. So that makes this process a heck of a lot easier through a strategic partner. Next, under acquisition, you don't know what to say. You think you need a script. You try to talk to sellers, or maybe you're afraid to talk to sellers because you don't want to mess it up because you have this lead that's finally interested. So you don't do anything or you get stuck there trying to figure out all the different ways to acquire a deal. Look, the reality is you don't need to get good here first either. You can actually partner up with people or heck, you can even come to our no fluff live 
live trainings, which we do every single Saturday, where we actually teach you, depending on the training, we'll show you exactly how to go about talking to a seller, talking to an agent, getting a property under contract, using the strategies that we see that works time and time again. So you don't even need to get good there. You can partner up with somebody that knows how to get deals under contract and you can do what's called a joint venture, which is the short form is just JV. So if someone says JV, that's what they mean. And lastly, you have lead generation. This is the key to everything. If you can affordably acquire new prospects and customers into your business, you will win every single time. There's a saying by Russell Brunson that goes, the company that can spend the most money to acquire a customer will win. So for you, we know that we can't outspend our competition in our market. We don't want to spend thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to try to get a lead. We want to do so affordably. But how do we do that if this is where we should start? So lead generation can be a rabbit hole in and of itself. There's a million different ways you can go about acquiring a lead. There's a million different processes you can use to affordably do so. So let me break down a few of the most popular ways and give you guys my honest opinion. So you have some of the more popular ways of generating leads, which comes from paid efforts. You have things such as virtual assistant cold calling. You have paid ads such as Google paid search. So anytime someone says, sell my home quick in blah, blah, whatever state, city, they will find your listing, which normally costs money for you to rank higher up on Google search. Or you can run ads on Facebook, which again, this costs a ton of money, but you can certainly do it. Something that we normally find here is you're going to spend anywhere from $50 on Facebook to somewhere in the neighborhood of $400 on Google, if that's what you tend to do. So you also have mailers. One of the more popular methods with mailers is mailing elderly homeowners in the property for 10 or 15 years plus um, or distressed homeowners and seeing if they want to sell their property. This is costly. Normally it takes anywhere from seven to 11 mailers to actually get someone who is interested to call you back. You got to have good systems when it comes to that. Texting homeowners was very popular up until September of last year where they put more regulations in place, but most people text and call distressed homeowners such as foreclosures and probates. Very popular. Um, we've even ran radio ads before. Before, we would buy what's called cumes and we paid to be on <laughs> radio stations in Phoenix. It was crazy, but you can certainly do it. And the same thing goes for TV. You can certainly do all those things. Now, the challenge with paid is that systems are paramount, right? Because if you do not get to these people fast enough, they will sell their home to someone else. If you have leads that are interested but need to be followed up on and you don't do so, you just paid hundreds of dollars for these leads and you lost out which freaking sucks. So let's talk about the other stuff you could be doing. So outside of all the paid methods and paying to skip trace leads and cold call them and have these big systems and stuff, I talked to a lot of investors and they're like, Matt, I just wanted to buy houses and wholesale. I didn't know I had to be good at all this tech stuff. You don't actually have to. Let me show you ways that you can generate leads for basically free. So then you have things that I say that are basically free. Things such as door knocking, which is kind of how I got started. I probably got my first 48 deals door knocking, specifically focusing on pre-foreclosures, but hey, it works. It does take a lot of time. You also have referrals. So people in the business that end up sending you more business. This is a very popular way, especially if you're doing deals. You definitely want to ask happy customers to refer more business to you. People miss this ship a lot when it comes to real estate investing. And then one of the other very popular messes is through affiliates. So doing kickbacks to other real estate professionals who send you deals. Basically giving like, hey, if you send me a deal, I'll pay you this. And at X amount of deals, I'll pay you more. Putting together a powerful affiliate programs could make your business absolutely explode. But let me talk about my favorite one here that I actually don't have written out. And it's something that I call warm outreach. So you have cold calling, you have cold texting, but what the heck is warm outreach? So what we do, guys and gals, to get 95% plus of our business in 2023 through 2024 has been through warm outreach. This has been the mode of us getting deals. All that we do is we reach out to real estate professionals here in our market that want to be called, they want to be messaged, and we ask them for business or we're specifically asking about one of their listings that work for our buying criteria. And guess what? Our buying criteria comes from the end buyer. We know exactly where we can be. The fun part about this, if you do it right, not only do you get the deal right then and there with a real estate professional, but you have a really good shot of tapping into referrals that, that we mentioned here before. You can get basically unlimited deals. I want you to think like infinite deals 
deal is if you actually work the relationships right, you don't need a hundred agents or a hundred real estate professionals in your network to send you deals. Five or 10 can bring 10 deals a year. And if you do your numbers backwards, typically your assignment fees are going to be anywhere from 15 to 20 grand. Let's just say a 17.5. That's $175,000 you can make in a year from 10 real estate professional relationships. Craziness. So this is how we do our business and this is how we keep really good margins. Now, of course, I am biased towards this because I really like the scalability behind it, but there's so many different ways to go about doing deals. I've talked to many of you guys before and you're like, I don't like working with agents. I want to work with homeowners. That's great. I say that there are four investor icons. So knowing and understanding the type of investor you are will help you decide the type of lead generation you should be doing in your business. In order to figure out the type of investor you are, I want to invite you to come to our Saturday training that's going to be on March 9th. Depending on when you watch this video, it's either already been done or it's coming up. If it's coming up, there will be a link in the description. That same link will also take you to the recording if you're watching it after March 9th. We'll be breaking down the four investor icons and the lead gen that matches the investor icon type. On the training, I'm going to be giving you the exact scripts you should use for the lead gen that you're going to be using depending on your investor type. Also, I'm going to be giving you the systems and the processes you need to use as you go and implement your lead generation. It's going to be insane. So if you want to be a part of this, it's completely free. We're not charging anything for it. I highly encourage you. It would mean the world to me if you would sign up for it. We want to make sure this information is accessible to the masses. We say this is the ultimate real estate beginner's guide. This is where you start. This is how you go to scale your business. You can't focus on all these different things at once. I see it time and time again or maybe this was you. I know it was definitely me. It took me 10 months to give myself permission to focus on one thing. And that's when I started to get traction in my business. Use this training on March 9th. Now, if you can't make it, watch the recording. I want you to use that to be your launch pad in your real estate business so you can narrow your focus down to one thing so you can use that to break through in real estate. You're not gonna break through thinking you need to be a master of all the things or trying all these different things. You're gonna spin your wheels for months and months and months. I talked to a lot of investors and like, hey, what's our goal for the next 90 days? And then I say, well, what's the opposite of that? We don't want to be solving the same problems two or three months down the road. And if you feel like you're living Groundhog's Day in your real estate business, we need to fix that. Watch the training or come to the live. Hope you guys got some value from today's video and you now understand where you need to start in your real estate business. I can't wait to see you on the training. Appreciate you. And if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, it'd mean the world if you wouldn't. Thanks.